after we started the Rancho Robin Rescues Instagram account, you know how Instagram sort of suggests to you different friends who you might have things in common with. And one of them was a group called They All Want to Live, which is an animal rescue organization. And they posted something about a rescue effort that they were doing in the New York area to rescue a bunch of um, Cornish cross hens, which are those little white ones that are raised for meat. And um, they posted about how they were doing this big effort to uh, rescue all these hens. And it's in New York. So I just posted a little message to them that said, good luck. Um, hope it goes well. Wish we could help, but we're all the way out in Northern California. Um, but hope it goes well. And they wrote back immediately and said, actually, we are going to rescue these hens and we're willing to take them all over the country. If you have room to rescue some hens, um, we could drive them to you. How many do you want? So I thought, what the heck? Why not help the rescue effort in New York? So we told them we had room for 10 hens and um, they had probably a massive group of people working on the logistics for this driving across the country delivering hens and roosters to all these different um animal sanctuaries so that's how we came upon these 10 hens from brooklyn all right so matt tell me about your drive what you've been doing uh well we left uh new york new jersey area friday night at 8 p.m and we've just been driving ever since we took uh, 115 rescued chickens uh, from New York City, and we've been dropping them at sanctuaries around the uh, around the country. And by we, that's who? Me. <laughs> so you left no, New me. York. I'm, I'm doing the driving, but there's um, a whole coordinating team. Sure, but you left New York Friday night. Yes. And it is Monday at what? 4 p.m. Yes. And you are in California. I've just been driving. And you've made stops. <laughs> and what do you have inside now? Uh, so we're down to so we started with 115 chickens, and now we have 33 in here. So, actually, behind this little thing, keep them from jumping out. What you think, everybody? Look at these beautiful ladies and gents. You can't quite grasp the smell of what Matt has been uh, enjoying for his drive, but uh, the ones with markings are so that we know they're roosters, and the rest are ladies. Now, where did these uh, girls and guys come from? Uh, so, there's a ritual slaughter that happens in New York City called Kaporos and these chickens were rescued from that slaughter that happens so they for certain would have been killed if not for the intervention of activists awesome well thank you sir we are super excited to take 10 of these ladies welcome to rancho robin gals and here we are pecking around for our food that daddy left in the ground for us Good job, girls. This is your new home. You finding this stuff? Man, hope you're not colorblind. Because looking for brown food and yellow grass is going to certainly take some energy, which is not a bad thing for you ladies. And here's your new digs. Nice and clean. We'll get some nest boxes in here for tomorrow. Put a few more roost bars in. We are not animal activists by any stretch, but we have really enjoyed giving homes to some animals who've needed a safe place. Over the last few years, it's just been a really fun hobby that has become a lifestyle for us. And these 10 hens are a great addition to our farm family. We're so happy to have been able to help with the rescue effort and help give a happy, safe home to these 10 beautiful girls. Welcome to your new home, girls. You got this whole yard, all these beautiful trees, the ivy around the corner. There's your coop right there. That was where our girls stayed their first night in California. But you get to live there. I hope you enjoy the ground. Oh, are we sunbathing? We sure are. Have a wonderful day, ladies. All right, Matt, you're off to Vacaville? Yep. Final stop? Yep. Back to New Jersey. Thanks, Matt. <laughs>